Can you tell us more about your Shakti initiative? Yes, absolutely. Um, the Shakti initiative is something that's very close to my heart. Um, you know, I pursued um, a bachelor's in religion um, for my undergraduate degree, and my focus was on women in Hinduism. And in fact, I wrote a uh, thesis. My senior thesis was the Vedic woman, who was she and when will she return? And so I had, you know, while I saw the challenges that Hindu women face in society, I knew that the philosophy and was very um, egalitarian, not even just egalitarian, um, but um, it put the feminine divine on a pedestal, but it also put the role of women and women in general on a pedestal. However, if you Googled Hinduism and women, you would largely find negative stereotypes about um, Hinduism being misogynistic, or you know, if if rapes were happening in India, that somehow they were rooted in the Hindu tradition, as opposed to looking at rape um, in India as you would look at rape in any other culture as as a horrible human um, negative tendency. And so um, we felt that it was important to have a resource where people who are interested in learning about the feminine divine or what Hinduism has to say about a variety of different issues um, from the philosophical to the mundane, that there would be a centralized um, clearinghouse. And from that, the Shakti Initiative was born. And so we're always looking for people who might be interested, who have a good skill set in writing. If there's a particular topic that they would like to write about, it can be uh, about a historical figure, it can be about a deity, it can be about a, um, an is a social contemporary issue. But it's a place for us to highlight um, you know, teachings about um, women. And I think that one of the powerful things about, maybe we can call it a Hindu feminism, is that because we have this idea of Shiva Shakti as being two parts of one whole, because we have this idea that each one of us can manifest both feminine and masculine principles, that it doesn't become pro-female, anti-male, which is what happens in a lot of iterations of feminism. But it tries to find ways in which both men and women or, or anyone who doesn't necessarily identify as either can come together to contribute to the positive wellness of all people, regardless of how we identify. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.